the master of magnetism. Let's go. Geeks was popping Marvel Legends series role playing premium Magneto helmet. This is from X Men '97, the upcoming continuation of the X Men cartoon that we all know and love from the '90s. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so right off the bat, out of the box, uh, I'm not that impressed. It's not what I was expecting. It's not as premium as it looks. This plastic is really thin. See how that bends? Also, the head padding, you have to put it in yourself, unlike the other ones where it comes installed. And unless I just dropped them, I don't see any instructions. Just everything in the box. It comes with a display stand. These will lift the helmet up, which I think is cool. It's not electronic at all, which I have a problem with. In a lot of the comic books where you see Magneto, it's dark, but then there's a little bit of light around his eyes. They could have put some lights in here just to kind of light your eyes up or done some sound effects because Magneto is many metal. You could have had like a crunchy metal sound effect. As is, it's just a plastic helmet that doesn't do anything and padding that you have to put in yourself. And let me look again, but I don't see any instructions. Y yeah, I don't see any instructions. So this is the pole that sits up on. You can see that on the back of the box. And this would sit up on here. Okay, so if you look inside here, there's a little stem piece that lines up to this groove in the back. So that slides on nice and easy. It does say Magneto right there up front, so that's kind of cool. Now, I did just try it on. It actually fits on my head without the padding. So if I don't find the instructions, I'll be okay. But you guys with smaller heads, don't have a big cream like me, if there's no instructions, might be a problem. And so I'm guessing this piece goes up here to kind of hold it and balance it. And again, there's a little stem, there's a groove. So that goes there. Okay, yeah, that fits. There's Magneto's helmet. All right, so let me try it in for you. There you have it. Hmm. I don't know. Too much open space here. Maybe some black plexiglass to have it darker, but like I don't like the way my face is showing through it. You can see my ear through the eye holes. Something about it just doesn't hit for me. It looks much better off than on, at least on my head. Now again, I didn't put the padding in. It fits perfectly without it, but I'm not a fan of it. Like I wouldn't wear this for cosplay. It just shows too much of my face. If any of you out there bought it, let me know if yours had instructions in it for putting the padding in. I didn't see any in mine. Maybe I dropped it in my mess of toys, but it's not there. But I'm really not feeling this. Usually the replicas, I love them. But like I said, the plastic on this, a little bit too soft. They should have had some electronics. And now that I have it on, they should have had black plastic. So you're not able to really see your face. Just like in the comic books, when you see Magneto, you just see his eyes in most of the shots. But I don't know. I don't like the way my skin is showing through it. Now, even though it came with a stand, for this price point, I don't think it's worth it. You're going up against Thor's hammer and the Iron Man helmets that are electronic. And this, uh, I think this was like 25 bucks more than those. I know the cost, the price is going up, but still it's just basically, you could 3D print a better helmet than this. I was really excited, but definitely not a fan. That's my humble opinion on this. Hopefully I maybe save you some money or maybe you like what you see and you get it. I don't know, let me know, sign off in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share a link with a friend. As always, thanks for all the support. Keep watching and coming back. Till next time, geek out.